Here's four ways that you could invest 50,000 pounds of cash. So if you've got 50,000 pounds of cash, of course, you wanna turn it into more money. You don't want it sat in the bank, you want it to grow. And here's four ways to do it. The first way to invest 50,000 pounds is to buy a buy-to-let property. And that is as it sounds. You buy a property, you rent it out, you get the profit from the income. Simple as that. Now buy to let properties tend to be a slightly lower risk and the goal is to have more rent coming in than you're spending out, obviously, on things like mortgage payments, insurance payments, management fees, maintenance costs, compliance, things like that. So your 50,000 pounds would cover the deposit you need to buy the property, your stamp duty, which is tax, your legal fees, any buying costs you've got, and any work you need to do to the property, and also any costs involved in renting the property out. The second way you can invest 50,000 pounds is what I call a flip to let. Some people call it a buy, refurbish, refinance, and it's basically where you buy a property and you do something to increase the value. That might be a refurbishment, an addition, an extension, a conversion, whatever it may be, but you do something to grow the value of that property and then you refinance the, the property to get that increased value back out. So your 50,000 pounds cash would be your deposit, your stamp duty, your legal fees, your buying fees, all those things, and it would cover the cost of increasing the value. And once you refinance it, you are trying to get as much of your 50,000 pounds back out of the property as quickly as you can. The third way you can invest 50,000 pounds is a HMO, a house of multiple occupancy. And that means you buy a house and you turn each room of that house into accommodation and then you rent it out room by room. Now you normally get a higher incoming rent from a HMO property because there are more rooms being rented out. However, it does come at a higher risk. You have to be more hands-on, there's often more maintenance, more compliance, more legislation, and it costs more to turn it into a HMO. There are other risks as well, but with higher profit comes higher risk. And the third way you can invest 50,000 pounds is to turn it into a holiday let or serviced accommodation. Now bear in mind, you've got to do this to hotel quality in order to get the reviews on Airbnb and Booking.com and places like that. And when you get the reviews, you'll get more people coming to you.